All right, I'm getting ready to do something that I don't like to do, which is to paint in my shop. However, I got myself in a jam because uh, <clears throat> I had one of those one-day projects that turned into a three-dayer. Um, this is the uh, bumper to my daily driver, uh, Nissan Xterra 2008, and it had some rust. The uh, uh, hitch attachment had rust. I think the previous owner uh, pulled a boat and got the back end of the truck in water because there's no rust up front, but just this bumper, the trailer hitch, and a couple other little spots uh, that had just cosmetic. And I'm trying to nip it in the bud while it's cosmetic and you know before things start rusting out. So anyway, I was just going to yank uh, this all off, uh, you know, prime it up, paint it real quick, let it dry, put it back on, weekend kind of project. But the bolts holding this turned into an epic battle. Um, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, uh, breaker bars, uh, you know, use my dad's old Ingersoll ran half inch uh, impact wrench. It wouldn't budge them. S tried my buddy Zach's uh, three quarter inch Ingersoll ran impact wrench. Wouldn't budge them. Ended up a uh, combination of, uh, penetrating oil and, um, you know, overnight soak and then big old, big old, uh, uh, breaker bar, um, bigger than the one I had previously. And, uh, Anyway, finally got it all apart, but by that time, <clears throat> you know, I was running out of weekend. So, this thing's got to, uh, you know, it holds my license plate. So my truck's not legal with this thing on here unless I figure some way to rig the license plate. I don't really want to do that. So, uh, under the gun, and now it's raining. So, I'm going to be painting this inside the shop. And uh, the whole point of this uh, is just to show uh, this product. I'm going to see how well it works. It's a duplicolor truck bed bed armor, and you know, it has some pretty good reviews online. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't know how much of the actual painting I'll show. Uh, the reason uh, I'll show you the um, the prep. <clears throat> the only reason you see those streaks there is that, oops, that's, I'm sorry, I have my, uh, on the strap. Those streaks are just where on the inside of the bumper I painted with the Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer, it's a red product, because um, it's good at, you know, really bad rust, which, it wasn't terrible in there, but it was pitted and everything, so, anyway, that's what I used on the inside, and then on the outside, just regular uh, automotive, and um, there were a couple of drips, from the inside out, and, and as I, you know, wiped them off, they just smeared it up a little bit. But this is all very well prepped and primed. It's it's not an issue. <clears throat> right, here we go. Let's we'll see how it works. How it goes on. Now, if I uh, if I had another vehicle uh, to drive to work, I would go ahead and prep my. Uh, all the other pieces, the uh, trailer hitch and everything else. Um, get that all painted, give it a, you know, a day or two to dry before I put it back on. I don't have the time to do that, so I'm just doing a bumper. And what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to have to um, <clears throat> put the bumper on. And then later, after the trailer hitch is all fixed up the way it needs to be, uh, I'll take the bumper off again to put the trailer hitch on. Because the way the exhaust interferes with this, you can't actually um, you can't actually get the trailer hitch on without having the bumper off, which is not ideal. But it is what it is.
everything that I just now painted doesn't even really matter because it has a plastic cap that goes over there. the rust was actually going through it in places and then I was going to have a safety issue like you know, this like the perhaps the bumper would need replacement but it turned out to have plenty of meat left it was just uh let's see if this works yeah I think it did clear it out good all right so oops let's see a spot And you know what, I don't even have to make sure this is perfect because, um, like I said, this is going to come off again later. <clears throat> um, I can always, if I find a little spot, uh, hit it again. Eh, but I can't stop, I see a little spot <laughs> already. Let's see, dry time on this. The other product they sell is not water-based, and it's supposed to be able to handle in one hour. Apply three to four light coats, allow 20 minutes between coats, one hour before applying. All right, so it has been roughly two hours since I applied this material, and you can see I've still got some wet spots. Now, I did not follow the instructions. I just laid this all on uh, in one coat, and it said, when I reread it, uh, you're supposed to lay it down in uh, light coats 20 minutes apart. So I'm sure that's affecting things. Um, you know, no excuse really, uh, but uh, I will say there's another product that they sell, and they had them both side by side on the shelf. Um, this one's the... Uh, the bed armor and they have something called truck bed coating and I think I had read the instructions on the truck bed coating and I don't think it said anything about that <clears throat> and it was the uh, truck bed coating stuff that also I think said had uh, you know a, a one hour handle time so I for whatever reason you know I went in to buy the other stuff same company with Duplicolor I went in to buy the other stuff and started looking at this and for some reason or another talked myself into buying it and it's, it actually applies differently. I mean, it might be better by the time it's done, but it's just going to, you know, it's taking its time. So, uh, you know, I'm anxious to get this thing back on the truck to get down the road with it. I might have to do something hokey like, you know, taping the stupid plate to my rear window or something to, to get through a day. I hate doing crap like that, but, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. It's 6 o'clock now. I mean, I could... Uh, this could uh, flash off in the next couple hours and I'll be fine. Alright, so it's been three hours. And um, you can still see some spots where I think, you know, I think once it dries, these spots will disappear. I mean, once it completely dries. But for the most part, <clears throat> I mean, I think it could be handled, particularly with uh, gloves. But, um, yeah, alright, so that's three hours. And what I did uh, to speed things up, uh, I used the heat gun not on the top but underneath so that the heat would rise up through it and uh, that really uh, helped it to uh, flash off there. So um, <clears throat> it definitely is going to need some additional coats because you can see some spots here like this but I'm not going to be able to do that right now um, because uh, you know like I said I just need to get the truck to work tomorrow. So that'll wait until I um, I get the uh, trailer hitch and everything else done uh, so that I'm ready to take this off again and, and reassemble everything as a unit um, and then I'll go ahead and slap a, another quick coat on to uh, address that. Overall, I, mean, I, I like the way it looks. Uh, whoops, focus. Um, you know, assuming that these spots, yeah, they're going to go away. They're, they're, sh they're shiny spots. They're actually just where the paint globbed out of the uh, can. But um, yeah, considering I was thinking that uh, this bumper might be shot, 
turns out there's enough uh, meat left to do something with it. I like this look. I think it'll blend in well. Uh, saves me hundreds of dollars. <clears throat> and um, it, uh, you know, my philosophy with this truck is, uh, or with any vehicle, is, you know, it's it's got a definite lifespan. I don't want to spend outrageous amounts of money on it. I just want it to look respectable and perform as it should and last as many miles as I can get out of it. And this this vehicle is 10 years old, has 100,000 miles on it, and I want another 10 years and another 100,000 miles. And I think that this uh, this bumper should, uh, should make the journey, which will be great. Oh, there you go, the expedient repair. That'll get me to work tomorrow. Still some spots that I think are going to uh, mat out as it continues to dry. Could be wrong, but I think that's what's going to happen with those. Um, but, you know, it's very humid out, and I just needed to get it done. <laughs> so, I'm sure if you do this on a nice summer day outside, this thing would dry beautifully in about 30 minutes. That's what I'm guessing. So I'll come back to this uh, project later when I get done with the um, trailer hitch. Hope nobody gives me a hard time about not having the lights tomorrow. Just don't want to mess with that. This I actually broke one of them and I've got to do a little repair to it. So I can't really knock that out tonight. <laughs> 